Okay, let's say you have an image like that and you want to isolate the, the color from the background. So um, one thing you can do is to use the selection tool like this guy here or select subject. You can try that and it will give you kind of a subset like this, which is it's not very good. So you do control X, control V and then you get something like really poor like this. All right. So instead of doing this, what you can do is, let's say we're going to duplicate this layer, deselect. The other way to do that, uh, let's remove this guy here. Let's do another duplicate just to keep a trace of it. So the other thing you can do is you go on layer, blender option, and you go with current layer and you press alt and you just move that towards the uh, the the right and that give you kind of an isolation just to check what it's looked like i'm gonna put back the black color for just to combine this this like that i'm gonna make this under a folder so you can see a kind of create isolate but it's not as clear as the original so another way of doing this is let's do another duplicate like that you go there and you use the channel instead so you go in your channel and by pressing ctrl and the red color for example you see that create isolate all the red so you go on your layer and then you add solid color like this and you just take the red for now because that's the layer you select so you have the red, then you go back uh, and you do another channel selection. And then this time you take the green control. You have to press control to make this little gizmo appear. Control green. Oops, something happened here. Control green. No, okay, it doesn't work. So just this. Okay, you select the color first. Control click. Ah, why, 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 why? If I remove this guy, they say I just want to have this color channel control green. Yes. OK, that works. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, so you go back, you do from your green selection, select color. And now you're going to do green zero two five five zero. So you only pick the green. So you have your green color now. And then I go back to another one just to be sure you select only this one, control blue. So select my blue channel. And then you do a color, solid color. And this time you just pick the blue, all right, two, five, five, like this. And then you have your blue. So you have your three channel, blue, green. So what you do now is you change this to screen like this all right so this is the opacity so you combine this and then now let's put this under a folder and let's add another uh, black color just to see the difference like that you put it on the bottom like this and as you can see now if i collapse so this is the we will call this the um, uh, how do I rename this thing? Okay, I'm going to call this the channel selection, something like that. Channel select. Uh, and this one is the blend if. Blend if. So just to compare the two options, and that's the original. So we just don't need this. So the original is like that, right? So if I look at the blend if it's not uh, totally this, but if I look the channel selection, it's really the same. You see, there's no difference. So and if I remove this black now, I can export this as a perfect image being uh, divided. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.